All right, welcome back to my studio. Uh, still Andy Morris. Still my uh, dining room table. <laughs> so, oh, man. Guess I'm going to keep working on this one for a while. There you go. Put down some glue. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna like I'm covering up a lot of this. It needs, it needs to be changed substantially before it can even go anywhere. I think. Maybe I'll put that right down there. I don't know where I'm putting this. I need more. Okay, so that's taking a left turn there, which is good, I think. Now, what to do with this? God, it looks pretty, that's weird how it looks so different in there. Huh. Well, I think no collage in this one.
Okay. Whoops. Okay. Uh, well, here's my little brush. Kind of want, want this side yet. Yeah. Man, it'll dry lighter and duller anyway, but all right. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Is it weird enough? That's the question. Maybe. Maybe it's weird enough. Whoops. Of course I put out more paint than I wanted. It's almost impossible not to. So what am I going to do with that paint? There's a piece of cardboard.
more contrast. Right? Hmm. God, look at all this red. Red is so strong. Jeez. Most of the time, I mean, it's like if you're not working with a palette, even then, you know, you're putting it on a palette, whatever, you're going you're gonna to use more than you really need most of the time. It just happens. Because the pigment, even even in these cheap paints, the pigment is strong. Yeah. It will dry a little duller, even the red will. Looks like it almost it's already starting to over here as it dries. That looks better though. All I did was really punch up the contrast, you know, throughout the composition. That's all I did. And I didn't I mean I only did that in a few places really. Just gives it a more dramatic effect, you know. Which sometimes you don't want, but sometimes you do. So I didn't know how to do that. You probably already knew how to do that. Doesn't that make it look better? Sure. COVID dude. I have to find a name for him. I don't know what I'll call this little bugger. Johnny. Something like that. What do we got here? What do I feel like doing on this? Oh, I do have this. Yeah, this to work on. Huh. What do I want to do on this? Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Let's play with some orange paint. kind of drawing with the paintbrush. Yeah, this is so small, it's hard to get everything on there. I guess I need microscopic brushes almost. I just, it's really, really hard. I, I shouldn't even work this small. It's 
It irritates me for one. Yeah. I don't like this at all. So why am I doing it? I don't know. I'm going to work on something else. I don't even like that. I don't like that at all. No, that looks better. Work on something. What else do I got? What is this right here? Oh, that's finished. Forget that. I need to separate the finished from the unfinished. What do I got here? I thought I had more. I'm going to call that finished for now. I guess I'll work on this one. Oh, here's one of the uh, one of the original COVID nineteen. When I was just going to do nineteen of them, this was one of the nineteen. Look at all that. Can you can you see all this texture in here? You know, I just scratched through layers of paint. You know, while it was still wet. I don't know what I used. No telling. Oh, the back of a paintbrush, probably. Chances are, that's what it looks like. Guess I'm going to collage on this. That makes sense. Collage. Here's some, some blues and some yellows. pieces on here. This is going to wrinkle a lot because it's kind of thin paper. I don't care. But you should care. I don't know. <laughs> That's too bad. So I was watching a, a YouTube video about this guy in, I guess it was England probably. I'm not sure. But anyway, him and his, him and his buddy were forgers. Paint, you know, they forged paintings. Uh, they, I'm not sure if he ever got caught, but it was kind of weird. He was talking about it really candidly, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure what he was doing was illegal. I don't know. But they would for they they would they had actually at least his buddy had actually. Uh, you know, forged some Picassos and stuff and they had sold, you know, for, for, you know, like a million dollars, a million pounds, I guess, uh, you know, at auction, like they were talking about how, yeah, the auction houses, it's in their interest to, um, You know, to have paintings authenticated when perhaps they shouldn't be authenticated, if that makes any sense. Of course, it makes sense. They were saying because, you know, otherwise, because, you know, they're not going to make any money off of forgery. So, it need, you know, they need for, 
they need for the results of the authentication to come back positive, you know. Anyway, so that's why it was easy to easy to get them passed. There's nobody, you know, nobody cares. They just want to make the money. They don't care. It's a crooked world, man. I think it's a great time for criminals right now. If you happen to be one and you're listening, you know, get out there, do some crime. <laughs> uh, I don't have the uh, whatever it takes. Courage seems like a weird, weird word, word to use, but I guess I guess that's sort of what it is. I mean, you know, if you're not scared of imprisonment, I'm terrified of imprisonment. Although it's funny because I mean, I I I pretty much imprisoned myself. But you know, like if if I knew, you know. If I was going to go to a, a prison, I'd uh, you know this would be the best prison I could go to. My house, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's hardly a prison. Yeah, the year I've spent here because of the pandemic. First of all, I was out of choice. I mean, any time I wanted to, I could walk out the door. So you know, that's not exactly a prison when it's choice. Or is it? I don't know. Well, it's not the same anyway. That's for sure. I don't know. It was just a weird, weird video to watch because it's like I said, the guy was just talking so openly about it. You know, in his mind, he hadn't done anything wrong. He he managed to rationalize it. I don't recall exactly how. Uh, maybe it wasn't that interesting. <laughs> it's just that's the only art video I watched this morning, so that's all I wanted to talk about. I should have watched some Bob Ross or something. I wish Bob Ross had done some abstract work. He probably did, but he, I don't think he ever, he never ever, uh, to the best of my knowledge, he doesn't have any, there's no videos of him doing that that I know of. There might be somewhere. You know how like Dr. Seuss did more than just illustrate children's books. You know, he had some more adult content, should we say? And more political. So I wonder. I wonder what boss. Maybe I should. I guess that that's something to Google. Maybe because <laughs> if I thought of this, you know, a million other people thought of it too. So I just need to Google it and find out. Maybe one of y'all know already. Did Bob Ross paint any of abstracts? And if so, are there any videos of it of him doing so? Because I think that'd be interesting. Let's put a happy little splotch right here. Maybe it lives in the thingamajig. In the blob. Put a splotch in the blob.
There, can you see that? Seems like the, the lighting's weird in here today. It's cloudy outside. Anyway, so uh, it's just going with that stripe theme. Maybe just a little bit more. Right. Let's break this up. Okay. That's kind of bright. It's okay. So I just got kind of, it's not stripes, but I mean, you know, the, uh, vertical shapes up and down. That's almost a figure there, isn't it? You see the, the head and the torso. I don't know, the, the colors and everything look kind of tribal to me. Kind of, I don't know, maybe that's not the right word. Whatever. Tribal or primitive. It has a primitive feel to it, which is good for what I'm trying to do. All right. So how you guys been doing? Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought John might know. Yeah, okay. Thanks, John. Yeah, he, he fooled tons of museums, made millions. Let's say you watched the video. God, my eye, my eyeballs are going out on me. Maybe I just need to clean my glasses. Yep, that's what it is. Well, can't do it right this second. Uh, Christine says, I watched the video about Bob Ross on the PBA station. In the video, Bob Ross states he was not able to paint anything else very well. Huh. Okay. Huh. That that that's interesting. He certainly well, you know, that's one thing. It's like, I mean, if you uh, not only did he just paint landscapes, he he just painted landscapes in that one particular style. You know, with that one, as far as I know, with that one particular medium, I never saw him do any watercolors or gouache or acrylics or temper paint or anything. Just oil paints and. Um, and in that, you know, in that style that he had, um, you know, I could pick, or you could pick, any, you know, any artist could pick, you know, a particular, after they'd been painting for a while, a particular medium and style and subject matter uh, that they'd already done before and, and just drill in on it, you know, just keep doing it, you know, a million times. Um, I guess. If I did that, it would, it was, I mean, I don't know. It, it would just, it would, it would, it would evolve. It would not, because I'd be trying to make them better than the ones before. And for whatever reason, at some point, and not to be too critical of Bob Rod, I better watch what I say, huh? I'll lose what little audience I have, but, uh, you know, I mean, he's certainly iconic and everything, but I mean, imagine it. I mean, I wonder why he chose to do that. Maybe because it was lucrative. I don't know. I mean, I think that's why a lot of artists settle into, you know, painting rabbits or whatever, because, hey, everybody knows him as the, you know, the lady that paints rabbits. Yeah, it looks it looks like pastel, but it's really done with acrylic paints. Really, how does she do that? Nobody knows. <laughs> but you know, you master one thing, so you you know just drill it to death, milk it, as it were, make your millions, hundreds of thousands, anyway, whatever. I guess. I mean, you know, but if I if I were to do that, if I was to pick any one, you know. 
And I know that because, because I know, I know how I am and I know what I've done so far, you know, with, uh, with my artwork. And whenever I try to do that, it, you know, it just takes off on its own. And because I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to make a better painting today than I did the day before, even if I don't, you know, which most of the time I don't, but there's still that desire to, you know, and, uh, and sometimes I try harder than others. You know, some days I'm just I'm just painting. I don't care. You know, like today maybe. You know, but other days I'm I'm a little more there's a little more attention there. It's like I have a you know, I have some ideas that came to me, you know, maybe while I was sleeping or something. Or just while maybe uh, while I was watching another artist or or looking at some other paintings or or looking at clouds or anything, you know. There's no telling when or or what, you know, the the impulse, you know, what triggered them, but you know, there's just that impulse. It's like, wow, what would happen if I do this? You know, I mean, I, you know, I hope I remain curious. If I paint for another 50 years, doubtful, I'd be 100, 112. Okay, I'll live to be 112, just, just because I said so. But um, if I did paint for another 50 years, I mean, I, I hope, I hope, you know, the day I die, I hope I'm still like curious you know what would happen if and then of course they'll be reminding me you already did that 50 years ago andy <laughs> but anyways maybe they won't know they won't see the video <laughs> but uh all right so i don't know i mean what what would that be that's i don't know that seems sad to me actually that someone would settle in you know it's like the death of an artist long before his career was over long before his last breath he died as an artist settling in to one medium one subject one style <laughs> all right my thoughts i don't know what they're worth two cents i guess that's what they say or well my mom used to say a penny for your thoughts. So maybe they're only worth a penny. I always argued with you. I said, Mom, I was throwing my two cents in. Well, I'm not giving you two cents, she'd say. Penny for your thoughts, that's it. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go do some other stuff. Food. I haven't eaten yet today, so. Manana or tomorrow. That's not... Oh, never mind. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. Thanks for coming.